Hi guys, my name is Yaroslav, I'm the founder of Motion Design School and today we're gonna talk about 3D Stroke, yeah. 3D Stroke Overview, just for you. Okay, excited to try it, so let's create a new composition, click OK, layer new solid and let's apply a 3D Stroke. To make it work well, we need a pass, of course. Uh, and if you want to make it perfect, you can click snap to grid and uh, find the real center of, of composition with title action save and snap to the center. Let's finish the pass. And we see that point one, it's not so good, so we can fix it. Uh, click V on your keyboard and you can choose the point and hold alt click again and everything is perfect okay so just check if it's real 3d stroke excited to see if yes y rotation and we see that it's real 3d stroke congratulations presets let's talk about presets um we have line already we can check if it's working with another lines so you can draw as many masks as you want and if you have this checkbox use all paths it will be working but if you uncheck it you can choose directly which mask you want to use and will appear on the screen okay regarding the presets if you choose basic circle basic circle will appear on the screen the same as for square and you can see there are many many presets and some of them is really weird like squiggle outline i don't even know where to use it maybe in the future 10 years later but the first thing that come into my mind right now we can create better better and even 3d how to make it let's work with the basic square and with the help of little mathematics and the repeater we can make the magic the magic okay let's enable it uncheck the symmetric double uh, doubler and play with the scale x y z make it 100 z displays to zero and just check if it working like the shape modifiers repeater in the, in the shape modifiers yes it's pretty similar but uh, one difference it's working with the 3d right so let's make three instances and uh, i know that the width of the square is 540 so let's make x displays to 270 y rotation to 900 and this place to 270 and oops I forgot the minus in the X displays and magic you have the square and it's awesome but we have some difficulties with the camera right so to fix this uh, we can create new camera okay let's try it 36 millimeters and the camera fix all the problems great but if we want some more uh, we can parent the camera to the null object uh, make it 3d and you can see that now we rotate our cube with the null object it's pretty great uh, but i want the center of the null object uh, to be in the center of the cube so we have better results uh, to do that we need to uh, make the position of null object uh, half uh, width of the cube you remember that it's uh, 540 and after that you can parent it but sorry i may i've made a minus uh, 270 okay now you can parent the camera and after that it will be nice so right now the null object in the center of the cube great 
so you can create as many figures, uh, 3D figures as you want uh, and the mathematics can help you with that. Transform settings? Mm, yeah. Let's play with the 3D stroke even more. Wow, what is that? I am excited to repeat it right away. Let's draw a pass for that. You already know how to do it. Um, to create this real great band effect, just go to the transform, make the band to the 10, band axis to the 30, uh, X rotation to something like 100. Uh, to make it look good towards to the camera and already we have a great result. Uh, play with the thickness and enable the taper to make the end of the stroke taper it uh, to the zero. Okay, let's play with the same settings more to find a better position uh, until we are satisfied. But we have some bad situation there uh, the little circles appear on the 3d stroke but we can fix it really easy with the advanced settings make adjust step to the story and you can see that circles disappearing and i can reveal the secret of this 3d stroke it's made from the circles now you know uh, the secret great um, Cool. So let's find uh, the better position for it. And uh, my favorite one, you can work with the start and end settings. It's pretty similar to the trim pass in the shape uh, layers. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know trim pass modifier. And if you play with the keyframes from 0 to 100, you can see this nice revealing of this 3D stroke. It's really nice effect uh, that you can achieve with 3D stroke. Great. If you make some offset of the start and end keyframes, you can make a real animation. Spirals! <laughs> Great. Let's create a spirals with the same effect. I think we don't need the keyframes for now. Let's make the thickness to 20. OK, bend to 15. And uh, let's play with the uh, X, Y rotation to find a better position. So that's all. That's how it's working. You can make the thickness to 10, for example, and just play with the band uh, to make more circles in the spiral and adjust the rotation settings. That's all. Uh, everything you need is to play with the start and end settings to reveal it. Okay, but if you want to know how to make hyperkey animation, I've made a tutorial on my personal account. So if you want to check it, link in the description. See you. Particles. Wait, particles? You can use 3D stroke in many, many different situation. For example, like in this fire scene, uh, let me show you how it's done. So basically we draw some nice paths. Uh, you need to make some curves uh, in the paths. So let's make it. Let's add more points. Make some curve. And I want to add some spiral to the end of the stroke too. Nice. We need to add a taper and uh, just make the keyframes on the start and end and animate it to the zero. Enable this 3D stroke. 
for it and we need to make the easing like that. Great, revealing is pretty good. We just need to change the curve on the line. I don't like it so much, so let's fix it. Yes, something like that. Great. And let's, let's make the start to 100 too. And make the easing the same. What we need to do is make the offset for them. Yes. And I think we need to add more keyframes to the scene. Yes, something like that. And make the more let's add more particles so i think you're familiar with uh, this effect because uh, it's usually used in the letterings so usually when we uh, make the reveal of the letters um, sometimes we add in a particles coming from the letter so that's how it's done Oh, I have an idea. What about Video Hive? Uh, I have the account too. Maybe I can upload this template, maybe six titles, and we can see how much I can earn. It will be great. So, if you want to check it in the next video, please thumbs up, comment, and so on. Stylization. And of course, stylization. It's my favorite one. Because when you made all that adjustments and so on, um, and if you don't satisfy it with the result, I always like to add like real stylization to it with advanced settings. So for example, you have really great line. Let's make more adjustments. Nice, and I want to make start shape and end shape to 0, 03. Nice. Yes, and if we change the internal opacity to 5 and adjust step to 3 or even to 10 for example we can see the nice blend effect so our 3d stroke become like real 3d stroke if you know what i mean uh, if we change the color we can see this nice corner effect like if we make the duplicate and change the color again, it will blend nice together. So just move it a little bit. Yes. And we have a nice result. We also have um, another, another option is low alpha hue rotation. So if you play with these settings, you can see also some uh, gradient effects. Don't do it too much, just a little bit. So now we have nice glowing effect from the corners of the stroke and in the middle. Congratulations, my dear. Now you know the secrets of the 3D stroke. Now you know the magic and everything like that. Okay, but if you want to recreate all six titles that I've used in this video, I recorded a masterclass for you. Link in the description, so I'll be glad to see you via this link, okay? Great, 
So, see you, thank you for watching and be motion with you.